Hey everybody, this is John, and welcome to the free video. Just going to do a real, uh, couple of quick updates here. So one of the things, one of the trades I'm looking at this week, there's not really a lot of bearish plays that are out there, but this is one that I like. You can see on the daily chart, we've got a squeeze, and we have the B wave and the A wave below zero, and the C wave kind of ducking down. On the 39-minute ch uh, chart, we had a squeeze higher, and we've rolled over. Now, the most intriguing thing for me here is that this is the super strong voodoo line, okay? This tree line here, and you can see that every time price line gets up here, it just has a problem with it. In fact, here it stopped to the to the T. So what I'm doing here on price line is I'm selling call credit spreads above this tree line. Okay, so again we're rallying to resistance. I'm selling call credit spreads above the tree line here. That's the voodoo tree line, one of the most important levels out there and looking to see if this thing can roll over. The good news is, is that if it keeps going higher, generally this will keep it in check. Obviously, this is all about probabilities. There could be some news announcement that pushes it up through here, but so far, uh, so good, and I really like that trade. Another one I'm, uh, I was watching here today was Netflix, and of course, Netflix had earnings out, and what I found is with the, the red voodoo line, which is called the fire line, which is by far the most important voodoo line, is that once you get there and consolidate, once you break through it, it's pretty much done. And at this point, I'm actually looking for Netflix to go to 423 and then 418. And again, the trades that I like here are the ones that have a little bit lower risk, selling the call credit spreads above that uh, fire voodoo line, okay? The other market here that I continue to watch very closely is the Russell. Uh, the Russell to me is kind of a heads up that the market may be done and you can see today we came up to that skyline voodoo line there and it got rejected and now if we take out this uh, trend line here we're actually going to then we're on track to take out that 112.38 level and that uh, that actually what happens on something like that when you test a voodoo line and then you come down and take it out you're essentially going to go retest the low so that's a hugely important voodoo line there on the daily chart at 112.38 on IWM in other markets, a super important level that I've been watching here has been the 101.38 voodoo line in dollar yen. Essentially, this is where the battle is taking place. If we fall below this, then stocks are going to go lower. If we can bounce off of this and rally, the stocks can go higher. This is probably the most important chart on the planet right now, and that's the most important voodoo line that I'm watching. The other important voodoo line that I'm continuing to watch is the 138.71 level in the 30-year bonds. Again, remember this too, that this is an important level. Here we held as resistance. We've held here one, two, three, four days in a row. The longer we hang out up here, the more of a chance we have of breaking through. And same thing, if the bonds break out here, this is a huge resistance level. If you can break through this voodoo line and take off, what happens to stocks? Well, I would look for stocks in that case to go lower. So one question that comes up a lot is, okay, John, I hear you talking about the voodoo lines. What are the voodoo lines? Well, we're going to be doing a free webinar on voodoo lines on this upcoming Thursday, July 24th. That's 8 o'clock East Coast time, which, of course, is 7 o'clock Central. You can go to simpleroptions.com forward slash VDL webinar. That'll bring you to this page. Just put in your first name, your email address, and you'll get the information to attend this free event. We're going to be talking about how to identify key support and resistance levels. Of course, what are voodoo lines? Why you should care about the voodoo lines, i.e., why are they so strong and so powerful? And importantly, what are the voodoo lines telling us now about the current market? And then, of course, my favorite strategy is utilizing the voodoo lines. All right. Looking forward to seeing you there. Have a great night, and we'll see you at the next video update.